This is a neutrino. You can't see or feel them, but every second each of us are bombarded by trillions of them. So this particular vi video I made for the 2019 Breakthrough Junior Challenge was on neutrino astronomy. It's this uh, new form of astronomy that looks at our universe through these tiny particles called neutrinos, and it tells us more about the universe and the events that happen in our universe. The winner of the 2019 Breakthrough Junior Challenge prize is... Jeffrey Chen. Ah. Yeah, so I found out I won around a month ago, about a month before the actual ceremony, and it was really incredible. Uh, it was really surreal to find out that I've won, and it, it, I kind of couldn't believe it was happening. It took me a little bit to understand that I did win, but when I did understand, it was just one of the best feelings in the world. I guess as a kid, I was always really curious about um, about science and about how our universe works. And then when I was in middle school, I discovered filmmaking for the first time. And I felt like education and filmmaking were basically made for each other. And I just started producing educational videos about science, about the environment. And it just became something that I did in high school as well and became, I think, better and better at. I could never have imagined to be standing here surrounded by such incredible minds and people. I made my video on physics because my parents are biologists, but also because physics, like all sciences, tells us the story of our universe. Uh, my mom is originally from Guangzhou and my dad is from Hubei. My parents did play a re really important role. Uh, my dad, I remember when, we were, when I was little, he would always encourage me to ask questions about how the world works. Uh, my mom, uh, since I was, when I was little, like taught me m mathematics. And, but also, I think what was different from my like traditionally Asian parents and maybe other traditionally Chinese parents is that when I discovered filmmaking at first they were a little skeptical they, were, they thought I wouldn't be focusing on my academics as much but once they realized I had a passion and I was able to put that passion to making films uh, they really encouraged me to cultivate uh, my growth in film. Uh, so besides studying I do filmmaking and I care about the environment so I started an environmental club in my school but I guess aside from that I do like to sing and I, I did the musical this year for the first time and that was really fun and then I did stand-up comedy. Yeah, so what I think is so great about our high school is that we both, we, I think we have a, like a pretty excellent science curriculum. Uh, we teach a variety of sciences, both regular sciences and AP sciences, but also we do like encourage kids to do extracurriculars such as filmmaking. I think a lot of this, almost all the skills I learned in film uh, I learned at the school from my teacher and also I learned on my own time. So the school does a great job of both making sure kids uh, learn academically but also have time to pursue their own interests and see what they want to do in life. I would like to go to Stanford University because it is close and they have amazing opportunities and I feel like I could do a lot of good and really educate and really uh, take advantage of the educational opportunities here in Silicon Valley. Uh, my dream occupation is to work at is to work on creating some form of technology to help uh, fight climate change. I think that's going to be something that's needed in the future and could be this whole new s job sector that hasn't really started yet, but is, in my opinion, it is already starting to develop.